Well, good morning, and welcome to worship here at St. Luke's Lutheran Church. I am Pastor Colin Newharth. For those of you who might be visiting today, uh, we welcome you as we welcome Christ into our midst. Uh, today is a very special day where four young people will affirm the baptismal promises made to them uh, years ago uh, in their baptism. And so it is a great day of celebration and uh, affirmation of their faith journey. A couple of announcements that are not in the bulletin. Uh, this Friday, May 5th, uh, Luther League uh, will be meeting. Uh, we'll meet first here at the church at 5 o'clock and we'll move some furniture. That's not the fun part, I promise. Uh, we're we're going to set up our youth room downstairs, and then uh, we will have a barbecue in the parsonage back, backyard, uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, all the fixings. Uh, so any kiddos 7 through 12 are welcome to join us. Um, next, next Sunday, uh, we will welcome uh, Deacon Janie Haig here from Camp of the Cross Ministries to uh, share with us about what camp is about and to get us excited about uh, what Camp of the Cross has to offer for our young people. Um, also, also, just a quick note, uh, tomorrow through Wednesday, I will not be physically in the office here. I have to be up at Metagoshi Ministries in Botno for some first call pastor meetings. Um, but I will have my cell phone on me in case of emergency. And so feel free to, to get in contact me if need be. Are there any other announcements, corrections, additions? If not, as you're comfortable, I invite you to rise as we begin worship with our confession and forgiveness. And remember, it's in our new life in Christ through the waters of baptism. We begin at the baptismal font. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare unto each and every one of you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We, we continue with our opening hymn. Here in this place the new light is streaming, now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space our fears and our dreamings 
brought here to you in the light of the day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly, Give us the courage to enter the song. Here it will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters. Call us anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some heaven light years away here in this place the new light is shining now is the kingdom and now is the day gather us in and hold us forever gather us in and make us your own Gather us in, all peoples together, fire of love in your flesh and our bones. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christ eleison, Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christ the Lord is risen today, all on earth with angels say, raise your joys and triumphs high, sing, O heavens and earth, reply. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. Merciful God. We thank you that you have made us your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called us to yourself, enlightened us with the gifts of your spirit, and nourished us in the community of faith. Uphold us and all your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. You may be seated for the readings. 
The first reading comes from Isaiah 43, 1 through 9. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who was called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring forth the people who are blind yet have eyes, who are deaf yet have ears. Let all the nations gather together and let the peoples assemble. Who among them declared this and foretold, us, foretold to us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses to justify them and let them hear and say, it is true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for this day of affirmation of baptism is Psalm 96. We will read it responsively. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Here ends the psalm. The second reading comes from Romans 12, 1 through 12. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor, do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please arise for the gospel acclamation. 
Alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 20th chapter. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated, and I invite the kids to come on up. Come and sit down. All right, I'll scoot over. We got to make some room here, kiddos. <laughs> hey, kids. We're going on a journey. And we're going to take this backpack with us. What do you think we should pack? Water? A hiking stick. All right. What else? Food? Lights? A Bible? Well, should we see what we actually packed? Okay. Well, so we got this guy here. So this will, this guy will keep us warm. Hairbrush. Do you think I need a hairbrush? No. no. Let's see what else. It's a necktie. Oh, there actually is. Well, it's a hymnal. It's not a Bible, but close, close enough. What are some things we should pack with us that may we can't fit in a backpack. Bingo. Bingo, yeah, okay. I'll give you that one. But the journey we're going on, kids, and maybe I should have told you this at the beginning, it's a faith journey. And so what are some things we should pack on a faith journey as well? Those things you all said were great. I heard Bible. That's, that's a good one. What else? What if we pack love? What if we pack Jesus? Because here's the thing. In our gospel today, Jesus says, and remember, I am with you always till the end of the age. That means no matter what we do, no matter where we go, Jesus is always with us. And Jesus will always love us, no matter what. And we can always come to Jesus with anything that is going on in our lives. Through prayer, through worship, through all of those things. And in the ways that we love one another. Okay? So shall we pray? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us on our journey of faith to remember that Jesus is with us. Amen. You may go sit back with your, back with your folks. Thank you for coming up. Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our crucified, risen, and ascended Lord Jesus Christ.
Uh, Confirmants, this sermon is for the four of you. So listen up. I'm pretty much addressing you specifically. But also a disclaimer, uh, the rest of you can't go down and get cupcakes and coffee early. You got to stick around, okay? So, but confirmants, you're going on a journey. And you have been on this journey for quite some time now. What journey, you might ask? It's a journey of faith. And it all started when you were washed in the waters of baptism for the forgiveness of sins when God called you God's own. And when your parents, your family, your sponsors made promises to help you along on this journey. So when you embark on, this, on a journey like this, what do you pack? I mean, you can take a backpack, but that might be a little small. What do you take with you? Well, let's look at God's baptismal promises for you to figure this out, shall we? Our gospel today is a good start. So in our gospel reading, Jesus is calling his disciples, his closest followers, to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And we know this as the Great Commission. But Jesus doesn't stop there. It's what he says afterward that kind of hits home. He says, and remember, I am with you always until the end of the age. So the number one thing that you should pack on this journey is Jesus. Take Jesus with you wherever you go on your faith journey. Wherever life takes you. Through the good and the bad. Because God and Jesus Christ will never leave you no matter where you go, no matter what you do. Jesus died on the cross and rose again for you. So that in whatever ways you may mess up in life, because it will happen, Jesus gives you grace. Jesus gives you mercy. Jesus gives you love. And also Jesus gives you forgiveness. Now let me be clear, Jesus doesn't get you out of life's consequences. So if you end up coming home past curfew or putting a few dents in your dad's truck, there's consequences, okay? So you still have to deal with that. But just know that Jesus is with you and Jesus forgives you. This faith journey you are on is also about a little thing we call discipleship. Make disciples? What does that mean anyway? That's where really thinking about those baptismal promises come in. Those promises that you will be infirming in front of this congregation in just a few minutes. No pressure. The first promise is that you will promise to live among God's faithful people. Being on a faith journey is a community effort. You never have to go at this alone. So another thing you can pack on your journey is the wisdom of others. Learn from those faithful people who have gone before you. Listen to their experiences. Take their faithful words to heart. This is where a faith community can be very important, a very important tool on your journey as well. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we are here to continually welcome you and support you wherever life calls you, wherever God calls you as a beloved child. The second promise is to hear the word of God and to share in the Lord's Supper. And this promise started from day one when you were washed in the waters of baptism. 
Though it is one way to hear the Word of God, reading the Bible is not the only way to hear and interact with the Word of God on your faith journey. And we as a congregation, a community of faith, have been sharing the Word of God with you since you were very young. At different points in your life, you received Holy Bibles to open you up to the world of the Word of God And at one point, the gifts of the Lord's Supper, a reminder of God's forgiveness for you through Jesus Christ. The third promise is to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. Confirmands. On your faith journey, you will have many opportunities to share your faith with others. You cross paths with many people who may feel discouraged, doubtful, or have questions of faith. These are your opportunities to share your experience on your own journey of faith. These times are your chance to share the good news of Jesus Christ and what that means to you as a beloved child of God. Fourth, you will affirm the promise to serve all people following the example of Jesus. Unlike many people in Jesus' time, Jesus did not discriminate or turn away anybody, no matter how rich or poor they were, no matter how good or evil they were, no matter if they were sick or healthy. On your faith journey, do likewise. Love everyone. Enough said. And finally, confirmands. You will affirm the promise to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Justice and peace. You are being called on by God as a child of God to make a difference in God's creation. That's what justice and peace means. It means you will be willing to right a wrong for the greater good of God's creation. It also means if you yourself cannot right that wrong or make that difference, You are called to find someone who can. Here's the bottom line. The bottom line is that your faith journey is just beginning. Confirmation or affirmation of baptism, it's not a graduation from church. As I've actually heard someone say that to me in those words. Not anybody today, but somebody did in the the past. We're only getting started here, folks. Sure, you won't be in confirmation class on Wednesdays with Pastor Colin, and I'm truly sad about that, and I'm sure you are too. However, you are being called to bigger things in your life of faith, to discover your God-given gifts, and to use those gifts faithfully. And above all, you are constantly being reminded on this journey of faith of God's never-ending love for you in Christ Jesus. I thank God for you every day. Thanks be to God. Amen. I was there to hear your morning cry. I'll be there when you are old. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. I was there when you were but a child with a faith to suit you well. In a blaze of light you wandered off To find where demons dwell When you heard the wonder of the word I was there to cheer you on In the midst of the living Lord 
to whom you now belong. If you find someone to share your time and you join your hearts as one, I'll be there to make your verses rhyme from dust till rising sun. In the middle ages of your life, not too old, no longer young, I'll be there to guide you through the night, complete what I've begun. When the evening gently closes in and you shut your weary eyes, you'll be there to know you have always been with just one more surprise. I'll be there with you, your morning cry. I'll be there with you, our old. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. I now invite the confirmants and their parents and sponsors to gather around the baptismal font. And I also, uh, if you would like to follow along in the order of affirmation of baptism, this will be uh, on page 234 in the front of the hymnal. You don't have to be so far away from me. You can gather in a little bit. All right. Dear friends, we give thanks for the gift of baptism and for these people one with us in the body of Christ, who are making public affirmation of their baptism. This is a day that the Lord has made. It is a marking of the faith journey where these young people will affirm their promises given to them in baptism and on their continued faith journey journey. And now we have the presentation of each, uh, of each candidate. We present Jared Eugene Schilling, who desires to make public affirmation of his baptism. I present Taylor, who desires to make public affirmation of her baptism. We, we present, present Dominic Domiciler, who desires to make public affirmation of his baptism. <laughs> I present Isaiah Weiss, who desires to make public, <coughs> public affirmation of their baptism. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these sisters and brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word in baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlightened them with gifts of your spirit, and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, confirmands, if you could step forward towards the uh, baptismal font. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and the forces that defy God? I renounce them. I renounce them. I renounce them. I renounce them. 
Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. I renounce them. I renounce them. I'll renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. I renounce them. I renounce them. I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people? To hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper? To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through the word and deed? To serve all people following the example of Jesus? and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. If this is most certainly true, I ask that you respond with, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers and pray for them in their life in Christ uh, to help and guide us. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give us new birth and cleanse us from sin and raise us to eternal life. I now ask the confirmants to kneel on the top step here. And I invite family members for the laying on of hands for each confirmand. And we'll, we'll go one at a time. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Jared the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving. Give him patience in suffering and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up and tailor the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm her faith, guide her life, empower her in her serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her to everlasting life. Amen. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Dominic the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience in suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Isaiah the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, Guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience in suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Congregation, let us rejoice. Uh, um, hang on. <laughs> you may stand up now and face the congregation. Let us now rejoice with these sisters and brothers in Christ by reading the bold print, we rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. Let us share in a round of applause. (laughs) 
and in celebrating this momentous occasion, your continued faith journey, we have a certificate and, and a small token for you. How about one more round of applause for our countermands? You may be seated, and at this time, uh, the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us share the peace of the Lord with one another as we are comfortable, and then continue on with sharing our tithes and offerings. As you're comfortable, please rise. Let us pray our offering prayer. Generous God, in this meal you offer your very self. We give thanks for these gifts of the earth. In the breaking of this bread, reveal to us the risen one. In the pouring of this wine, pour us out in service to the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of your Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all who witnessed the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. And praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. And praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, given and shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. 
gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us remember that this is not my table. This is not your table. This is not St. Luke's table. This is truly Christ's table. And all who believe that Jesus Christ is present in his body and blood, in with and under the bread and wine for the forgiveness of sins, are welcome to share in this meal. Uh, for you visitors out there, we, have an, we practice an open table, meaning all who have been baptized are welcome to share in the meal. Uh, if you wish to receive the elements, hold out your hand in a, I, I say form a cross, um, hold out in your hands in, in, in this manner. If you wish to come forward and just receive a blessing, uh, please try to have your arms crossed over your chest like this, and I would be happy to give you a blessing at that time. All has been prepared. You may be seated. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, in you we live and move and have our being. With your word and this meal of grace, you have nourished our life together. Strengthen us to show your love and serve the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Just one minor announcement following the church service here. Uh, we are going to have uh, cupcakes and coffee and all the goodies downstairs in our fellowship hall in honor of our confirmands, our four young people on this day. So all are welcome to join in that food and fellowship. Receive the blessing. The God of all who raised Jesus from the dead Bless you by the power of the Spirit to live in the new creation. Amen. We sing our closing hymn. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I, who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright, who will bear my light to them. Whom shall I send? He, I am Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your peace.
people in my heart. I, the Lord of snow and rain, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them, they turn away. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts of love alone. I will speak my word to them, whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will call, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame, I will set a feast for them, my hand will save. Finest bread I will provide, till their hearts be satisfied, I will give my life to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. Go in peace to love and serve the risen Lord. Thanks be to God.